Hello friends, this video on fractions and decimals part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, what are fractions, types of fractions wherein we will talk about proper, improper and mixed fractions, addition of fractions, subtraction of fractions, multiplication of fractions and division of fractions. We will also discuss decimal numbers, multiplication and division of decimal numbers. Fractions and decimals. Now, even before we talk about what they are, let us look at a, a very common example, a, a very common thing that must have happened to many of us. Let's say that you have a pizza. Now, pizza is the best example to understand fractions. So trust me, just think of a pizza when you want to understand fractions. This would give you very nice examples and a very beautiful understanding. So you have this pizza and you have to divide this pizza equally among five kids. Let's say these are your friends. So you are five. So there are five of you together. So and one pizza. So obviously you do not want to eat more and give your friends less. So you your job is to divide this pizza into five equal parts. So what do you do? You take out slices from the pizza, like as you can see on the screen. So this is how the slices come out, right? So in this way, you divide the entire pizza into five equal parts like this. So let's say one, two, three, four and five. So this is how you have divided it into five equal slices. And then you have given one slice each to your friend. So now if I ask you, what part of the pizza did each one of you eat? How much pizza did you eat? Now, if now let's say that this is you. So if I ask you that, okay, you ate one pizza. So what will you say? That did you eat one complete pizza? No, you didn't eat the entire pizza. So how much of that pizza did you eat? So you would say that I ate only one part out of five parts of the pizza. And what is this one part by out of five part? This is called one by five or this is normally named as one fifth. So this actually means that you have ate, you have eaten one fifth of the pizza. So what is this one fifth? This one fifth is nothing but a fraction. So a fraction is always a number which tells you that how much part of the total. So that, that is what is being told by fraction. For example, when you say that you ate one fifth of the pizza, so it actually tells you that one part out of the five parts. So basically it is telling you how much part of the entire pizza did you eat. And that is what is always indicated by a fraction. So that's fraction. Now let us look at this example again. Now let's say out of these three, so let's say you there, there is one in blue, there is one in red and the other one is in green. So out of these three guys, who is more hungry? So let's talk about the same friends who were eating pizza. Five of you were eating pizza. Now let's say that some of you are more hungry than others. So in this case, this time, there are just three friends. So not five, but three friends. And you have one pizza again. But this time you have a bigger pizza because you are more hungry. right? So what happens is we see that the first guy, he eats one slice of the pizza because he is only that much. He is moderately hungry. So he doesn't want to eat too much. So he ate one slice of pizza and he is like fine. The second guy is a quite more hungry. He didn't have his breakfast maybe. So he is more hungry and he ate three slices of the pizza. Now this, this time your pizza is not that small that you have only five slices. So this is a big pizza. So you have more slices or you can also assume that you have more uh, number of pizzas. So this guy ate three slices of the pizza. What about the third guy? Now it looks like that the third guy is all the more hungry. So he ate almost four slices of a pizza. 
Now you might be wondering that how come they get so many slices of pizza from one pizza. Now in this case as I mentioned before that you do not have one such pizza. You actually have three people and you have three pizzas like this. So you have ordered three pizzas like this and each pizza, one one pizza is given to each of them. Now this guy he ate just one slice from this pizza. This guy he ate three slices from this pizza and this fellow he ate four slices from the pizza. So he just ate one, he ate three. So one, two, three and he ate four. One, two, three and four. Now can you tell me that what fraction of pizza did each one of them eat? Now when you look at the first boy, he ate one slice out of five slices. So he ate one fifth of the first pizza. So this is called one fifth. What about the second boy? How many slices did he eat? He ate three slices out of five slices. And what is this called? This is called three-fifth. So that means he ate three-fifth of the pizza. And what about the third one? He ate four slices. That means he ate four slices out of five slices. And this is called as four-fifth of the pizza. So these are all fractions. One-fifth, three-fifth, four-fifth, which tells you that how much of the total so that, that is what is being defined by a fraction. So let us see what is a fraction. It is a ratio of two integers in the form p by q such that q is not equal to zero. Now this is a very mathematical definition, right? Uh, so let's take one more example to define fraction. Let's say that this boy is reading a book. And the book has a total of 100 pages. So there are 100 pages in the book. And the, this boy has already read 50 pages. So total number of pages. Total there are 100 pages in the book. And by now the boy has completed or the boy has read how many pages? 50 pages. So if I ask you that what fraction of the book have the boy already read? So what part, how much part of the book is already read by the boy? So how would you find that? This boy has read 50 pages out of 100 pages. So 50 by 100. What is 50 by 100? 50 by 100 is nothing but 1 by 2. So how do we divide these things so that we will learn later? So that is what is our aim in this chapter. So basically we find that the boy has read half of the book. So 1 by 2 is nothing but half. So half of the book is already read and the remaining half is yet to be read. So half is that fraction of the book which has been already read by the boy. Now when you look at half, this is an example of a fraction. What is it? It is a ratio of two integers. One is an integer, two is an integer. Ratio of two integers in the form p by q. Here one is p and two is q. Such that q is not equal to zero. Why q not equal to zero? Because if q becomes equal to zero, then the value of this entire fraction will be, will be in, not defined because anything divided by zero is not defined. Therefore, in a fraction, we never want the q to be zero. So basically, when you talk about a fraction, the number which is present at the top is called the numerator. And the number which is present at the bottom or which is present at the down is called a denominator. Now, how do you remember this? Denominator, D for denominator and D for down. So denominator is at down and obviously the other one that is numerator is at top. So let us look at some examples. So anything of this sort, 4 by 10 is a fraction. 15 by 4 is a fraction, 1 by 3 is a fraction, 100 by 3 is a fraction. So these are all examples of fractions. So anywhere you see ratio of two integers such that the denominator is not equal to 0. So that is an example of a fraction. So that's fraction. So let us look at more examples of fraction. 
Look at this apple. Looking at this apple, if I ask you, what fraction of the apple has already been eaten? So you might say that two out of five parts, that, that would actually mean, now you might say that where are the five parts in an apple? What it actually means is, in case you divide this apple into five equal parts, then I have eaten two parts out of those five parts. So that is what is called as two-fifth. So you would say that if you have eaten some part of the apple, you say that I have eaten two-fifth of the apple. Let's say you are writing exams and you have solved five questions out of 20 questions. So, so far, what have you done? What fraction of the paper have you solved by now? 5 by 20, which is actually 1 by 4. So, one fourth of the question paper has been solved by you. Right? Let's say that a boy practices football every day for 10 hours. So, every day, 10 hours. Now, if we ask what fraction of the day does he practice football? Now, in a day, how many hours do we have? We have 24 hours in a day. And out of those 24 hours, he spends 10 hours in play, practicing football. That means he spends 10 by 24th of the day in football. So, these are all examples of fraction and everywhere you see it is a ratio of two integers the such that the denominator is not zero. And also everywhere you see that fraction is actually telling what part of the total, like what, how much hours of the total day or how much part of the apple or how much part of the question paper. So, fraction always answers how much of the total. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.